I just, just want to say thanks again for coming here. So, we all missed you. Um, so, if you can't answer this first question, which is if they're inside the computers, who's operating their data pads and zip boards and glitch? But if you can't answer that, my main question is, um, they have a second guardian um, in mainframe. He's that other, um, he's like that round, I think his name is Jing. He's like that round dude. Well, it used to be, but I lost weight. No. Well, because well, um, all the Guardians had the black and gold. And oh, the Codemaster. Do you mean the Code? No, no, it wasn't the Codemaster, because um, I remember there was Bob, and then there was this other guy, he was like British too, he was drinking tea and crumpets in some of those episodes. Well, no, was, uh, yeah, one of the, he, he has an assistant named Binky. Oh, Algy. Is it Algy? Zero. The, he's, he's not a Guardian. Well, no, one, there was another unit or uh, sprite that had the Guardian logo. And oh, no, I see where this is coming from. No, um, it's, it is accepted that the, the Guardian icons are gold and black, yeah? yeah? Right, and there are an awful lot of other people in mainframe with a gold and black icon. That does not mean you're a Guardian. Oh. It's one of those, you know, those diagram things, like all Guardian icons are gold and black, but not all icons are Guardian icons okay. kind of thing, so yes. I, now I see what you mean. Yes. Uh, I, kind of I mean, Frisket had a gold and black icon. It doesn't mean he's a gold. <laughs> 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 Sorry? Frisket, best yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he can't click his own icon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, w I want to ask about uh, Nintendo console that came out shortly after Reboot had finished, called the GameCube, that was a purple cube. <laughs> Did Nintendo ever contact you guys and talk about that at all, or is it just... No, they bloody well didn't. <laughs> and if we were a huge, powerful, successful company like Pixar, we'd sue their ass for that. <laughs> no, there was no... they just did it, and it was like, you bastards. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, you could argue that we should have, if we were smarter, we would have trademarked it first, but we didn't. Not exceedingly strange. Just a sec, I have a question for Gavin. <laughs> you, see, I, you, see, you, see lo you see lots of, like, nods to Reboot in popular culture over the years, I think, like that, if you, you look. There, well, there was one recently where they were doing an advertise. they did a nod to Andrea, and it was Betty White voicing her. What? What? Okay. What? Oh, she's, she's gonna... She's going online to find... What the hell? So, you go ahead with your question, dear. Um, first of all, I just wanted to say that Andrea and Hexadecimal were my favorite characters, so I'm so glad you guys are here. <laughs> um, my question is, what is your favorite line out of the whole series? <laughs> oh. Well, I said it last, the last time I was here, and I still have to say it again. I, I love children. <laughs> but I can't eat a whole one. <laughs> I do, I do, I do love children, really. <laughs> but they give me indigestion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if you put a favorite, any more questions? Oh, that's her favorite line, too. We want it to be each other and mouse. So, <laughs> those are all our favorite lines. Give it back to you. Yeah, I, it took, uh, took about seven years to get that line in the show. Because I, I, I actually came up with that line. I'm very proud of that. And, uh, <laughs> and I kept saying to Dan DiDio, who was like our uber creative righty guru at the time, I'm like, we've got to get this line in the show. We've got to get this line in the show. And he's like, yeah, but it has to be the right moment. It has to be exactly the right moment for that line to work. And it took seven years to get the exact right moment. And, and it had to be Enzo. It had to be Hex and Enzo, because they had that little... They had a relationship, if you like, from race... All the way forward from racing the clock, they had a relationship with each other. So, yeah, it was good that it, it ended up being Hex talking about Enzo with Dot there. So, that's my favorite line in the show, too. Uh, just out of curiosity from me, question to you. Uh, 
the, the, we two women, what was it about our characters that, that appealed to you? Um, mostly that, it's the same with Mouse too, the same reason I loved her is because they're strong characters. They're females who don't take shit from anybody. <laughs> It was not Betty White, it was Jane Lynch. Just Google it if you're interested. They did a, uh, some people say it was going to be the next Toy Story. It was a little Pixar short, and I swear it's a nod to Andrea. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. She's like a mermaid sitting on her thing. Yes. Yes. And it's like, I, I remember I saw that online, and I went, that color scheme looks very familiar. <laughs> There's lots of nods. There's lots of nods out there to reboot. Pioneering. I always thought that Stargate, because we're huge Stargate fans, uh, the guys who made the show. <laughs> I always thought that uh, we had a sort of, because we used to do homages to them, and I've never talked to any of the Stargate guys to check this fact, but I always got the impression that they were doing homages to us as well. I think we used to do nods to each other. I don't know if that's true. I know we did to them. I don't know if they did it back. Thank you. Well, thank you for finding us strong women because we're not down yet. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. Hi. Um, uh, I'd like to first thank you for creating one of the best shows on TV, especially in the 1990s when all was was 2D crap. And, <laughs> and also be, uh, specifically the gap into contributing to uh, Beast Wars, which is one of my favorite shows. <laughs> um, the, uh, you too. Uh, were you also a voice on uh, Beast Wars? Uh, I didn't know, sorry. <laughs> Maximals, Maxima. My favorite line in the whole show. Shut up, Rat Trap. <laughs> Thank you for that, and that was a very embarrassing nerd moment. <laughs> no, I, I, did, I did play Optimus Primal on, uh, on, uh, on Beast Wars. I see. Oh. It was a ton of fun. Uh, I'm glad you watched it. <laughs> it's best. I just re-watched it again, so it's, it's really good. Um, but my question is, uh, specifically for Gavin, um, especially when you first created Reboot, um, this is like early in the days of CG, and CG was still very expensive in development, and 2D was very cheap. Why did you guys decide to go with computer graph um, 3D instead of 2D and stuff like that? Is it possible you don't know about Dire Straits? <laughs> uh, Money for nothing? Um, <laughs> they created it. The, the short answer was we were drunk. <laughs> <laughs> the longer answer is we, uh, myself and Ian Pearson, who's one of the other creators of the show, because I did not do it alone, um, we did a pop promo for Dire Straits back in 1984 called Money for Nothing. Google it. Again, Google it when you get home. It's a, it, it was one of uh, a very early CG pop promo. Um, and it, it made a big splash at the time and everybody was ripping it off and it was really cool. Uh, and immediately after doing that, Ian and I were in a pub, drinking, and he said, we, you know, we could do a show like this. And I said, well, you're insane, because we just nearly killed ourselves for three and a half weeks to produce two minutes of animation. And he's like, no, 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 seriously. But then that was the germ of the idea. It was, you know, we'd done this pop promo. Again, as I said before, we, we were always making rods for our own backs and pushing the envelope and doing things that nobody should really try and do. And so we did start thinking about using CG to do a TV series and that's the tiny little seed that grew and grew and grew into uh, Reboot and Mainframe and all the other shows that we did. It's fantastic. Has anybody ever seen that video? Yeah. I want my MTV, you remember that show? That was a, a great video, and you, when you think of, the, of the, the computer animation at that time, and the computer animation today, after only 25 years or 26 years, it's phenomenal the developments that have uh, occurred. And I was just saying to Ian earlier, or, or to, uh, to Gavin earlier, because he mentioned Ian, and Ian, my, my golf guy, but uh, I was saying to Gavin earlier, imagine what Reboot would look like today with today's technology and today's computer uh, processing uh, capabilities and the graphics that are available to us. 
I think it would be an unbelievably awesome show. You know? I'm thinking, I'm, you know, I may be wrong, but I'm thinking that would be fantastic. Yes, sir? Um, is there a particular reason why the villains in the show are named after units of measurement? <laughs> There's these two guys sitting in a bar. And the names are Ian, who taught like this, and Gavin. And they said, well, what do you think we should name them? I don't freaking know. Let's call them Inches. Oh, that's not right. What is it? You tell them. You came up with the idea. Not at all. I'm sorry, I was enjoying you. <laughs> but I like it um, too. It was, um, it all started with Megabyte. Because mm. that was the one thing, like I said, back when we were in that pub drinking, blah, blah, blah. And we came up with the idea, let's do a show. And it's, uh, the, the fact that it was set inside a computer came from the fact that it looked so primitive. Because whenever we pitched it to someone, we said, we're going to do a show, we're going to do it in CGI, this is kind of what it's going to look like. And they said, well, it looks kind of weird, why does it look so weird? And then we came up with, because it's inside a computer. And they went, oh, yeah, bro, yeah, that totally works. <laughs> and everybody just accepted it. Uh, so then the next step was, we, two things that we came up with from minute one that stayed into the, sh the whole thing. One was Megabyte. It's like the villain is called Megabyte. Because it's a great name for a villain. He's a big guy, he's got a big jaw. And uh, Hexadecimal was this, because she's a witch. Well, actually, she was a witch to begin with, and then she became this queen of chaos thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shirley's not a witch. But um, yeah, so it, it, that's where it started. And the, the two things from day one were Megabyte is the bad guy, Hexadecimal is kind of a bad guy. And that was it. And we moved forward from there. Sorry, folks, we have another session in here. So we're going to have to uh, end this right now. But thank you so much. Let's have a big hand for the cast of Reboot. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. You're having such fun. Now, well, listen, we're going to be over at the Reboot uh, Display at 89. Uh, what is it? Uh, I can't remember the number. It's right across from the Batman the Batmobile. So if you have any other questions, by all means, pop on by. Come and say hello. All right, thanks, everyone. Woo!